think now Sony's going to try to do the Spider-Man cinematic universe. Yeah. Or, and it's going to fall on its face just like it did last time. They're not good. They don't know how... How many movies were they going to make and then have it now? In the, the Sony Spider-Man universe? Mm -hmm. Um... Mm. That was that Black Cat and Silver Sable. Yeah. There was an Aunt May Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. one. Uh, there was a Sinister Six. I guess Venom. I think it should be called the Venom first because Venom started it all. I'm Dang. I'm Mallory. And this is Drive Through Movie Review. We just saw Ready or Not. A young bride marrying into an old money family finds out in the worst way possible that the family had made a pact with the devil and she needs to be sacrificed. Alex was hoping that the odds were with them and that they weren't going to have to deal with that so situation. They play like chess or checkers Yeah, which or would have had no else. consequences at all, but hide and seek is the one with the consequences. It's odd that that's the one that has the consequences. It's strange. When the devil works in mysterious ways. Yes. So, fun fact, Mallory doesn't like horror movies. Doesn't How'd like you do? Movies. How'd you do? It wasn't a horror it, movie. It, wasn't. it was far more. It was a gory comedy. It wasn't even that bad on the gore. No, it wasn't. It, I like it was that. more of a squishy noises. <laughs> squishy noises and the cutaways and whatnot. Yeah, but no, I, I, thought away, that was, but... I thought that was done well, though. Yeah, I yeah. know. It, it wasn't like a cop-out. It was just... No, yeah. It was, so... It's like, we don't need to go saw or hostile on yeah, us here. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to do, like, torture porn sort no. of situation. This movie was, like, geared at the uh, Happy Death Day... Same yeah, that genre. definitely that. Like it was comedy, definitely a horror. Comedy um, horror. Right? Comedy and, horror, yeah. yeah. I really, really liked it until the end. And until then, the end. In the end, I was like, well, this ending sucks. I also really liked it. You were okay with the ending? I was okay with the ending. I was quite okay. fine with the ending. There was some decent setup for it where you yeah. kind of, you're... I mean, they did like the, the foundation. The whole, like, the whole buildup of... Or does, does the devil really, you know, yeah, cursing them or not? Is this real or not? It just goes all the way to the end like, well, what's going to happen? <laughs> For the family bickering and the dialogue, mm -hmm. I think it definitely won me over just doing that. Because like I said, there weren't any amazing kills or anything like that. It was... Yeah, there was very nothing. like the plot itself was just very run of the mill, but it really was the characters and the actors yeah, that was, brought this thing together. It was the actors and like the dialogue, Grace's yeah. Yeah. dialogue with Alex before their wedding which is witty and snappy and <laughs> sarcastic and just my kind of humor if grace had just been more active in the actual fight against them as mm -hmm. opposed to just surviving and lucking out of things at times mm -hmm. i think i ultimately would have really really enjoyed it as opposed to, I, I liked it but, yeah, like, yeah. But some sort of triumph for her rather than just survival yeah like I she guess. if she had been the victor mm -hmm. rather than the survivor she doesn't do much aside from just run around and run away from people. It was really Daniel that seemed to be almost the heart of the movie a lot of the time. Yeah, no, the the brother, the alcoholic yeah. brother was really, um, he, yeah, no, he was really good. Well, he was also probably one of the better known actors in Adam Brody. Um, I mean, Andrew McDowell's yeah. fairly recognizable, but I mean, none of, no one in this movie is a headliner or anything like that. He ended up being the, uh, the kind of the character I was most compelled by. Mm -hmm. And again, like I think it's almost a testament to the director where the plot itself is just okay, I think. Yeah, no, it's a... Because there isn't like any kind of amazing fight scenes or anything or any kind no. of amazing just like a, attacks or kills or anything like that, but it's just mm -hmm. there's some tension building up of her running away from all the random family and then the family itself was probably the best part. Had their bickering and now they <laughs> bounced off one another. Turning on each other and getting angry mm -hmm. and lashing out. Yeah, I, I love that the family, you know, even the family wasn't prepared to actually do an actual they're sacrifice like, oh, that no. night. <laughs> like, they're all like, I have golf tomorrow. Like, they're all prepared to play chess. <laughs> they're like, but I like her. I don't want to kill her. And so their their incompetence for murder just blends all the way through the movie. The, the cokehead sister, I think, was probably the uh, comedic center <laughs> of the movie. Snorting coke and accidentally killing maids. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Grace's just attitude towards everything. <laughs> 
boy, I just, I felt that though. I felt it. Just you know, she gets mad at Justin on the phone and and uh, just just yells at everybody. Oh, the car that comes by, she just starts cursing, just like, random words. What is words wrong with you people? <laughs> I mean, yeah, the uh, little emotional breakdown that she has on the street after a car doesn't stop and help her <laughs> is pretty much exactly how a real human being I, yeah, would have I a breakdown. Like that's, yeah, I, that's how I would do it. Just a random string of curse words mm -hmm. that make no sense together. They're not not dialogue, just curse words. So that was, that was always fun for me. Just, I, I get you, Grace. I get My you. Lord, Grace. I was, like, I was really impressed with the actor's performance when he was handcuffed up. Uh. He was crying with his mom about, about in his fear that they were going to kill his, mm -hmm. his bride. And, like, his eyes, they got all, like, super glassy and, like, bloodshot. You know? Like, you've been ugly crying for hours, sort of, bloodshot. And, like, just poured out of him. And I was super impressed with the acting. I'm gonna give it a 10. I would say... Oh. 10. Yeah. I almost want to say 11. Like, I, I'm I gonna give kinda, it a second. Like, oh, yeah, 10 and a half. 10.30. 10.30. <laughs> well then, until next time.